What is up, guys? It is the one, the only Fatal Onion here. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're all having a groovy good day because today I'll be giving you a rundown on where to get a lot of iron in Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Whether you're making that beautiful house of yours next to the lake or you're trying to make a lot of iron daggers, I got you covered. So without further ado, we're going to begin with the first location at the East Empire Company Warehouse. This is under Solitude in the left portion of the map. There are going to be three shells in this area that we are going to be looking for. One shelf, which will be the first one you see, will have a lot of leather and such, so that way you can get your leather strips for your daggers. And just before you go around the corner, there's going to be another shelf with four iron. Collect that and loop around. And this is where all the, the, the beef of this supply is. So get all the iron right here. Read the book to get your smithing skill up a little bit. And get the heck out of here because you are trespassing and you might die so get out of here if you can the next location isn't too far from where you just were instead this is at solitude so make your way to solitude go to the blacksmith and as soon as you walk in the door you'll notice that there is some iron on one of the shelves well actually two of the shelves right when you walk in so make sure you gather all that there will be a barrel behind you with a couple of pieces of iron and there will also be a shelf to the left of the door when you walk in and there's going to be some iron and leather strips there as well. But before you leave, go into the blacksmith's living quarters, and there will be a couple on the table as well as a piece of leather strips. Once you collect all that, time to go on to the next location. Moving on to the next location. This location is going to be in the Riften Blacksmith. It seems like all these blacksmiths are just loaded with this kind of stuff. So head on over here. Go into the blacksmith's house, go into the basement, and the first thing that you'll see as soon as you walk down the basement is going to be a shelf full of iron. Collect all of that, and to the right of this shelf, there's going to be another bookshelf with a lot of leather. So if you're in need of your dagger making, this is going to be a great spot to stock up on some of that leather. And while we're talking about blacksmiths, we might as well stop at the Riverwood blacksmith. Here you will find a few pieces of iron. It's not a significant amount, but hey, any little bit helps. The next location we are going to is Fort Dawnguard, so hopefully you're not a vampire, otherwise you're going to have some difficulty going in here if you didn't already go in here and wipe everybody out. So, this location has a lot of iron in the blacksmithing quarters, as well as some enchanting materials and other gear that you can vendor off and make some gold to then buy some more iron. So this is another great location. The next location we are going to is the Halted Stream Camp right above Whiterun. This location is going to be full of bandits, so make sure you're ready to pick a fight when you do come here. And you're going to need a pickaxe as well. Fortunately, the mine shaft does have a few stashed throughout, so pick one of those up and get ready to mine. I will give you a tip here that if you use the pickaxe, if you have it equipped it and you swing at a deposit, it mines it much faster than it would be just do the animation for it. However, a lot of the deposits that I tried mining didn't work, so I don't know if it was a glitch or a bug or whatever, but maybe it would be best just to go around and do the animation for the mining. I don't know. You find out yourself. And also, make sure you pick up the transmute spell while you're here, too, and all the miscellaneous gear, because you can then vendor that off and get some more iron. And my final piece of advice for you would simply be going around the map and buying out all the iron from the vendors such as the blacksmith or the general's good merchants. A lot of these vendors do have a lot of iron and of course at times they don't. It kind of depends on their inventory rotation. So just be prepared that you know you're not always going to get lucky. But this is a great way to buy out all of your materials whether that's iron, the leather, the leather strips, whatever else you need to craft your house or craft your gear. This is seriously very efficient, especially if you do a full map rotation, so you go around the entire map, even to some of the smaller cities such as like Riverwood. If you buy out all the iron, by the time you finish a full loop, the inventories on the other vendors that you just purchased from should reset by then. And then you can just kind of keep repeating this process over and over again. The only downside of this is you're going to need a lot of gold. So hopefully you have a huge stash built up, or you can check out my other video on how to get Skyrim gold very efficiently, which there will be a link in the description, the top comment, and in the top corner of the screen as well. So hopefully this video did help you. Hopefully you can get all of your iron needs set and stabilized and be on your way for that beautiful house or those hundreds of daggers that you're gonna be crafting. But guys, seriously, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in a future video or live stream. And as always, thank you so very much for watching.